Artist Toshiko Takaezu has always shown a strong sense of place in her work. Most important is her native Hawaii, with its volcanic landscapes and deep colors. There's also rural New Jersey, where she has gardened and made her pots for 40 years now. But she started her career in the Midwest, in Michigan and Wisconsin in the 1950s. Some of her recent work, huge five and six foot tall pieces called the Star Series, is back there now at the Racine Art Museum in Wisconsin. We went to see the exhibit, but first we stopped off to visit Toshiko at home. It was right before she left for Hawaii on her annual trip to escape the cold. I always wanted to see what I can do next. And I was very curious to see if I can make these, these big pieces, but I had to have a timing for this. When the right time came, I knew I had to do now and or never. It was timing. Well, I made a piece that was really the best that I ever made. So I said, it's, it's the star. And they said, well, there is the brightest star called Ceres. So I said, let's name it Ceres. And the second piece she made was very dark, and that's named Potolo. And that was the name the Dogen people of Mali gave the dark star that revolves, orbits around Sirius. Sirius has a dark companion that orbits around it. And for some reason, 400 years ago, the Dogon people figured this out and they've, they've documented this. And after that, they're all different names. It's all connected to the whole universe. And there are 14 of them. Someone wanted to buy one and I said, I thought about it and I said, I don't want to sell one. I have to keep this intact as a whole. And so this show that I have in Racine Art Museum, the opening to me was very important because it's the first time I'm going to have all the 14 pieces together. So practically all the big pieces that I, I have and I have cherished, I think it'll go to the museum because I think and I feel they'll take good care of it. That's what she told me. She just wanted to keep them all together because they were related. You know, up there they're related. In heaven they're related. And so, fortunately, we are very grateful to her for deciding that they should be in this little town here. The Johnson family is, is incredibly important to this community. Many people know the company and the family because they commissioned Frank Lloyd Wright to design their administration building in the 1930s and then later the research tower that was built. And this is um, in anyone who takes an introductory course in, in the history of art always sees a slide of the great workroom uh, go up on the screen when they're discussing 20th century architecture. So we're, we're very lucky to have them and to have their interest in the arts. Toshiko was one of the artists who was included in the exhibition Objects USA, which was sponsored by the S.C. Johnson Company and opened up in 1970 and toured the, to museums all over the United States. And that was the first time that contemporary crafts were really seen at, inside major fine art museums across the country. And many people in the field today view that show as a watershed movement in the history of the, the craft media. Toshiko was also included in a film called With These Hands that the Johnson Company commissioned that featured and focused on about six of the artists who were in that exhibition. With These Hands, presented by Johnson Wax in recognition of the American craftsman. I kind of felt that your visual sense, you know, when you look at things, you know, your eyes, most important thing, right? 
Then you go in like a child in a way. If you like something, the instinct is to go and touch. You just go and touch if it's touchable. Because you see some things and you like it, but you don't feel like touching. But I like to have pieces of mine that that's an invitation to be touched. See, then that's a second feeling, right? First your eyes you see, and then next you touch it. And then once you touch it, then there's an extra element in there, which will be the sound. You touch it and something else happens, which you can't see, but it's there. That's what I like to have in quite a few of my pieces. The kiln has some, so much to say. If you fire the kiln a little hotter, or if you have certain kind of uh, atmosphere in the kiln, it changes. I have one piece or two pieces there that feels like air. I don't think it's mine in a way, that it came through me, but uh, the kiln had so much to say in this. She's treated now as, a, as you know, our version of a living treasure and as an elder statesman in the ceramics field, but it's quite a journey to get to that point when you think about it. She's just a very strong person. She can hold her own anywhere without being pushy. I mean, she's just a very gracious, polite, kindly person, but strong. I'm going to another stage, but I'm trapped in my body that I can't move the way I want yet. And so I think the time is for me to stop now, but it's hard to do that. So I'm wavering. I like to sneak and work. <laughs> so I can see what happens because it's always different. And you learn from one to the next one. And sometimes surprise come like the yellow one. It's all different all around. And there was a spot here that needed something special to be put on. It came by accident this year. So I, I exaggerated it and named it the black hole. But this was not planned at all. And the, the whole thing turns out OK to me. I feel as though the star series is really almost a culmination of where she's been heading. What's fascinating about, about them, I think, is that they, they have roots in the forms that she has created throughout her entire career. I think what was important for her was not only to have large forms that people could walk around, but it also gave her a large surface on which to paint in glaze. And I like the idea of blazing and working around the piece or dance around the piece to blaze. And to me, that was the most secret part of this, to blaze when the piece is hard and you have this brush with the glaze and oxide. How are you going to get this to be together? It was a challenge to see this piece and nothing on it. What are you going to put on? How are you going to put on? and what might come out. And you know, it goes on and on. So I keep, because I'm so interested in that, I want to keep on doing it. And it's not that easy these days, but uh, I'm still trying.